everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my usual monthly Feel Unique pick and mix unboxing and also going over the samples that I chose last month and giving you my thoughts on them. For those of you who don't know, this is a service offered by the website Feel Unique. Basically you can go on to their website and make a selection of five different samples from an array of samples which include perfume, hair care, skin care and the odd bit of makeup. You then get sent your samples for the cost of £3.95. When you get an email confirming dispatch of your samples, you will also receive a gift voucher code in reimbursement of your £3.95 that you can then use to purchase anything on the website. It doesn't necessarily have to be in purchasing the full size of the samples that you've tried. We'll leave the link to the service in the description box below. Um, if you're not interested in that, I do also have a referral link in the description box, which is for 20% off a purchase on Feel Unique. I've had quite a few people use that in the past and it has been a great help, so thank you for anyone that has used my referral code for that. But other than that, let's get into it. So first of all, I will go over the samples that I chose last month and give you my thoughts on them. I actually did pretty well in the samples that I tried last month, there was only one that I didn't try and that was the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This says it's a mega illuminating moisturiser and the reason why I never got around to using this is because it says on the back can be used under foundation or alone and I kept thinking I'll use it under foundation and then just completely kept forgetting and then I'd come to use it overnight and think no actually I'll save it for when I wear it under foundation so I just never got around to using it so I can't give my thoughts on this one. Then we have the Clarins Double Serum and this is one that came with three of the sample cards. Uh, as you can see, two of these I've not used, I have used one of them. It took me a minute to realise how to actually get the product out. I was looking for a tear strip of some sort but then I did read the back and it said about folding it and then spent another few minutes trying to work out which way to fold it. Um, as you can see there, you fold it in the middle and then you do squeeze the product into your hands. It does take quite a bit of squeezing to get all the products out, but there's definitely enough products for one full face application in these samples. I just wasn't overly keen on the actual product itself. I felt like it never fully soaked into my skin, uh, left my skin feeling quite oily, so much so that when I actually tried to apply my moisturiser afterwards, I kind of felt like it was just slipping off my face and the moisturiser wasn't then blending into my skin, which I do believe with the serum, you can apply moisturiser after it, but I just found that the one time I tried this, it didn't work and it just needed to be kind of on its own. I know trying a skincare product only once, you can't really get a full gauge of its effectiveness, but I didn't like the application process and I think that was enough to put me off, plus this is quite an expensive product, so I don't think I could justify spending that much for something that I don't like the application of or the actual feel of the, the serum on my skin. I'm glad to have got tra to try it. The next product I tried was the Naughty Intensive Care Leave-In Conditioner. I really enjoyed using this product. I think out of this sample I got at least four uses out of it, which was really great because it wasn't a massive sachet. I did feel like this generally helped tame my hair. It made it feel that bit more softer. It also kind of tamed the flyaway slightly, but it didn't leave my hair feeling heavy. And it smells absolutely amazing, and so much so that I did actually go out and purchase the full size of this. This is only $6.99, which for a leave-in conditioner, for the price of ones I've purchased in the past, is a great price. And if I can get four uses out of five mil, this is 150 mil. So I think this is definitely gonna last me a good while because you don't need an awful lot then we had a couple of products from Clarins. The first was this, this Reboost Hydrating Comfort Cream. And this is one that I have used a good three or four times. And I think I've probably still got half of what's left in here. It's only five mil, but a little bit goes a long way. And it is just a really nice moisturiser. I didn't notice anything kind of mind blowing with it, but it did leave my skin feeling soft and still soft the morning after, which to me is a sign that it has really worked in hydrating my skin. It does have a really nice fresh scent to it that doesn't linger, which I do appreciate because I am sometimes sensitive to smells, but really nice moisturising cream. I don't know if I'd necessarily run out to purchase the full size. One of, probably one of my favourites out of all the moisturisers that I've tried from this service. It is kind of up there. And the final climbers product was the Recharge Relaxing Sleeping Mask. And this was another one that came in a little 5ml bottle. I think I've probably used this one the same amount of times as the other one 
but I think I've got about a third left in this one because I do feel like you do need ever so slightly more of this for a full face application but it's not necessarily a bad thing it's still not an awful lot that you need and I've probably still got a good one or two uses out of this left yet they both have very similar scents they're not overpowering in any way this one to me is slightly more fresher than the other one but they are very similar and again this made my skin feel nice and soft but then the next morning my skin also felt supple and soft which I believe is one of its claims um, yeah relaxing herbal infusion to quench plump and refuel skin at night so your skin looks more beautiful in the morning and I would definitely agree with those claims and to be honest this is one that I'm actually considering purchasing because I do quite like a sleep mask I think I've got a couple in my collection but I think I might prefer this one to the ones that I have I believe the full size of this was 21 or 22 pounds i don't think i'd pay that for a bit of it did see it on sale i would definitely consider purchasing it onto the samples that i've chose for this month the first one is again another clarins one this was a range that they did release quite a few products on i think there might have even been so many as 10 on the website so in my first one i just picked two of them and when i've gone back to purchase this month's samples i thought i'd try another one out of this range and this was one that kind of jumped out at me this is the micellar cleansing milk I am a huge fan of micellar water it's what I use to take off my makeup every day I thought I'd give this one a go this is a 10 mil sample which is a really good size which is strange because it actually looks smaller than the 5 mil sample so this mustn't have been full and obviously a different shape packaging I quite like this range from the things I've tried so far and I wanted to try this so this one says the texture the texture combines the freshness of water with the comfort of milk and all the cleansing power of micella technology with no oily film so really excited to give this one a go so the full size one of this is 200 mil for 17 pounds so I say this one is a 10 mil sample i work this out to be worth about 85 pence the next sample i chose was this keels super multi corrective cream and this says multi corrective daily moisturizer addresses many visible signs of aging including loss of bounce and youthful contours prominent lines and wrinkles and a few other things um, I am really noticing that the lines on my forehead are getting that bit deeper so I am kind of looking more into anti-aging things now they don't overly bother me but I suppose it's better to kind of nip it in the bud as best I can rather than let them get to the point where they do bother me and it's kind of a bit too late so I've definitely been taking more interest in anti-aging things and because I said it was multi-corrective I thought I'd give it a go but I don't think I've tried anything from the brand Kiehl's before but I think they are on the more higher end so I am intrigued as to see if they do justify the cost again I appreciate in a sample this big you're not going to get a full reflection of how the product works this is only a 3ml sample so I'm probably only going to get two maybe three uses maximum out of this which again is not going to create a full picture but I might be able to get a rough idea of how it works. So the full size of this is 50 mil and that is 52 pounds. So I work out that this three mil sample is worth three pounds and 12 pence. So if that's the case, this sample alone nearly pays for the full price of the box, which is three pounds 95. Then we have this first day beauty ultra repair tint cream. And this says it has a SPF of 30 and it is a natural and luminous finish. This is in the shade fair. I think looking down the side I probably am going to be more light than fair so even though it is a tint it may still be a bit too pale on me but I will give it a go to see what it's like it says it's a perfect multitasker that provides 12 hours of soothing hydration and reduces the look of redness and pores imparting a natural luminous finish so I think that is kind of right up my alley because I am noticing more that I am getting that bit more redness on my skin now on a daily basis I don't tend to wear foundation but I do wear concealer on blemishes but I'm finding of a morning that I am kind of putting my concealer on the red patches that I get it's mainly on my cheeks which I do predominantly cover with blush anyway and on my nose so something like this might be kind of ideal for me to wear to work on a daily basis rather than wearing full foundation so that was why I was kind of leaning towards this one so I'm excited to see what this one looks like and it is a decent sized sample as well this is 7.5 mil so it should get a good few uses out of this provided that the tone of it's right and it's not too light but obviously it's try that to see so the full size of this is 30 mil for 20 pounds 50 
and as I say this is a 7.5ml sample so I worked that out to be £5.13 which again more than covers the price of the box so see what this one's like. I think £20 is more than I've ever spent on a foundation never mind the tinted moisturiser so we'll have to see how this one goes. Next I picked this Sanoflore, bear with me for the name, Essence Marvelous I think it is and this is it's a regener regenerating anti-age night concentrate. I don't know if that means it's kind of like a facial oil. I'm not too sure. Again, kind of going down the anti-aging route. Was glad that they had quite a few anti-aging products that were new to there this month, so I could give them a go. Um, this one claims if I can find the English. It has resplendent, smooth and replump skin on waking. For all skin types, before bed, apply a few drops to the face and neck. And this one comes in what well, actually looks like a little perfume vial. It doesn't look like it's very full, but it says that it is 1.5ml. So I presume I'll kind of just dab that onto my fingers and, and place it onto my skin. Again, I'm not too sure how this one's going to work, but I will give this one a go. The full size of this is 30ml for £45. So I work out that this 1.5ml sample is worth £2.25. When I came to actually pricing the full size of this, I couldn't actually find it on Phil Unique's website. I did have to go to, I think it was on Look Fantastic. I didn't think that they put things on there that you couldn't purchase on their website, but this was one of them that I couldn't I couldn't find on there, but I say, keen to give it a go, because it's something that I've not tried before. And the final product is this Lamcom Absol Precious Cells. I kept going to say Absolute. This says it's the Intense Revitalising Cream with SPF 15. And this one is just a 5ml sample, which comes in a little squeezer tube. This one doesn't actually have any information on it. There's nothing printed on the back of here. And on here, it literally just says Intensive Revitalising Cream. Sample not for sale. Don't know how that works with the sample service. And then it just says avoid eye area so I presume it is just a normal moisturiser when I actually went to look for the price of this on the Feel Unique website again I couldn't find the item when I then googled it to see if I could find it on another website this exact product didn't actually come up when I look on my order I can see that it comes in what looks like a tub because it does show you the full size uh, but when you click to follow the link kind of thing it just takes you to the Lancome section of the Feel Unique website there is a very similar product to this on, I think it was Debenham's website, but it says it's a day cream, but it had the SPF 15, so I think that's a very similar product. And it did say about, I think it was Intensive Revitalising Day Cream, so I don't know if it's been rebranded or what, or if it is the same product. But the price I'm going to give you is based on that one, because I do think it is the same product, because from the small picture that I have on the my thumbnail and my order list compared to what the, the picture looked like on Debenhams it did look like the same thing but disclaimer I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on that but according to the price of that one let me make sure I get it right the full size is 50 mil and is a rather pricely 170 pounds if it's the right one and it, this is a sample of that this 5 mil sample works out to be 17 pounds for this which now that the light is shining through it I can see it only goes up to here it does still say it contains five mil but I say with the light shining through it it's only half full so if someone's willing to spend 170 pounds on this I'd expect it to be a miracle worker and to hydrate my skin for at least a week from one application so I'm quite intrigued to see about this one I think even if I do fall in love with it, I'm not going to spend £170. Even if it isn't the product that's £170, all the products that were coming up under this Absolute Precious Cells section on Lancome, on their own website and on Debenhams, were at least £100. But say I'm basing it on the assumption that the one I found is the one that this is. So with that in mind, when I've totted up the total of all the items, it has come to £28.35. Again, I've spent £3.95 on these samples so in that fact I'm getting an extra £24 worth of products from what I've actually spent. Obviously if you take this one out of contention or it is a lesser priced product that is going to go down slightly 
but like I said, the, the cheapest products I've seen in this Precious Cells range was £100, so you're still looking at this being a rather pricey sample. I think that is definitely the most expensive set of samples that I've got from Feel Unique. To me, Clarins is a really high-end brand, and that is actually the cheapest full size of all these samples that I've got, which shows you how expensive these things are. So that is it for my monthly unboxing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks!